Aloha, my name is Hana Yoshihata. I am an artist from Hawaii Island. And art, for me, I can't remember a definitive time where it ever became what I wanted. It was just always there from as long as I can remember. It's been a part of how I go through the world. It's how I process and how I reflect. So art has always been there with me. Um, but as it's developed, it's become tied with everything else I do. So now my art is kind of in unison with voyaging and a reflection of the experiences I have out on the ocean. Today we're looking at one of my pieces, Manai Kalani 2. The narrative behind Manai Kalani is kind of honoring both navigation and traditional Polynesian voyaging on canoes as well as the star lines that we use when we're voyaging and navigating. So Manai Kalani is one of four star lines that we use when we are navigating and learning how to navigate. So um, this piece it's kind of a reflection of my experiences coming home from Tahiti to Hawaii. Every night I would look up in the sky and I would see some of those constellations and they become kind of the backbone of your journey. And um, they really punctuate memories that I have. So when I got home, I knew that I wanted to make a piece honoring that star line and memories and colors and the movement and everything that had gone on during the voyage. So Manai Kalani and all of my pieces currently are poured with ocean water. So Manai Kalani 2 uses water from Kapiko Wakea, the middle of the ocean, and then it also is mixed with water from the Keoho area of Kona, where I'm from. When the acrylic paint comes in contact with the salt water, it kind of breaks it down. It's not, um, the two aren't made to go together for sure. So the um, details in here of like the spidering effects and all of the organic kind of textures are because the salt and the ocean is kind of exerting its own uh, material power over the paint. So that became really interesting for me in a way of working where I could sort of collaborate with the ocean and uh, gather the water and then pour it and kind of let it become. It's really special. So I'm excited for this piece in particular to be available to the public to see. It's, um, for me, exciting because I know not everyone maybe will get the opportunity to voyage and not everyone will want to, but by having this, people can come close to something that is made from a realm that is so far away and something that's really special. So even by being next to it, you're part of something much bigger and you're right next to something that came from the middle of the ocean. So that's exciting for me to make that opportunity for people to kind of bridge that gap.